Well, the first of our Three Rivers Athletic Conference division champions from back in 2019. I'm joined by a head coach of the Princeton Tigers, Ryan Pearson. Ryan, thanks for joining me. Yeah, thanks for having me, Greg. Yeah, so division champs and went to the semifinals in 19 before falling just short to Byron. Uh, man, that was a battle. I remember watching that game, 7-3 final, and it just, just yeah. what a game. We'll, we'll get to that in a little bit, but um, sure. first of all, obviously coming off of two straight conference titles, that semifinal appearance, I'm sure you and your guys are more than ready to get back to work here. Oh, most definitely. Uh, you know, I, you know, we were pretty worried, uh, you know, once COVID hit that we weren't going to get a season and, and uh, you know, I, it's kind of bittersweet because our, uh, you know, our, it's not what we hoped for. You know, we were hoping for a, a playoff, you know, type situation, even if it was just a three game kind of a deal. But uh, bottom line is our, our kids get to play and, and our seniors get to play at least six more games before they end their high school career. And, um, you know, that's, that's, that's what's most important. Being that it's a short season, no playoffs, like you mentioned, how do you approach it? How do you look at it? How do you, I mean, I guess, how do you keep kids motivated to know that there could have been a lot more here for you guys, but this is still an opportunity? Sure. Um, you know, I don't think we're going to have any issue, you know, keeping our kids motivated. You know, they were, they were pretty excited to, to play and, and the alternative was, was not getting to have a season at all, you know, and they were just going to have to end their senior year with, without getting an opportunity to put the stripes on one more time. And, you know, so even though, like I said, it's not a hundred percent what we wanted, you know, it's, it's much better than the alternative, not getting play at all. So coach, you got a guy that's put up some pretty big time numbers over the past few years in Rondé Worrells. He's got a few games left for you. Tell me about his impact on this team and on this program. Well, you know, he's, uh, you know, he's got the opportunity. He's going to go play uh, Northern Illinois uh, coming up next fall. And uh, certainly he's, he's very, very excited, you know, for the opportunity to do that. But at the same time, you know, he wants to finish his high school career as, as a Princeton Tiger. And, and uh, you know, we honestly can't ask for a, a better leader, you know, for our program. Uh, he's just an extremely hardworking kid. You know, very, very humble, you know, always puts, you know, the team before himself and uh, just a, just an absolute consummate leader that, you know, I think is a great example, you know, not only for our varsity kids now, but, you know, all of our younger kids that we have in the program that, that this is what it's like to, to truly be a, uh, a leader that everybody can look up to. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, coach, we'll go back in time a little bit. You uh, made a semifinal appearance in your second year at Princeton. But take me back to 2016, the Canton Little Giants taking, taking oh, a trip gosh. to the semifinals, going yeah. up against Rochester and falling, which a lot of teams have fallen to Rochester in the playoffs. But uh, sure. tell me about that rebuild of that program and what that run meant to you and to that, to that town, to that program. Well, I think it was, was, was huge. Um, you know, Canton, uh, you know, before I took over the Canton program, you know, they hadn't had a whole lot of success. I think they had one playoff appearance, I think, in the last 14 years. And, uh, you know, I don't, Canton had never had a, a semifinal appearance uh, in program history. And so, you know, for us to do that, you know, in, uh, in, in such a short amount of time, you know, it, it really was a testament, you know, to the, that group of kids that we had. They kind of bought into what we were selling and, you know, really, uh, you know, definitely played for, you know, the name on the front of their jersey and, and not the name on the back of their jersey. And so uh, that's what made it special. You know, those kids were, were extremely humble and, and were very proud to be Little Giants and, and uh, certainly a season that I'll, I'll never forget. Wish it would have came out a little bit differently, but Rochester is pretty good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's an understatement. They're, they're pretty good. Well, you take over a Princeton Tiger program that kind of had some expectations. They had been in the playoffs and had a quarterfinal run in 15, how were the pressures different than when you had started at Canton, you know, with the expectations were there in Princeton? Uh, well, to be honest, I, it was relatively the same. Um, I think Princeton had one playoff appearance. That was a little bit more recent, you know, than what Canton had. But I think Princeton had one playoff appearance in the last 15 years. So, um, you know, it, the, the biggest thing was just to, uh, you know, get the, uh, get the community to buy in. Uh, you know, get the kids to buy into the program and, and, and the morals and the values that we have and we preach. And 
Um, you know, I think our kids have, have done a phenomenal job with that. And, and uh, you know, now once the ball's rolling, um, you know, it's, that, that's kind of the tough part. You know, now it's just maintaining it and, and uh, you know, hopefully continuing to put out a product that, that not only our school can be proud of, but, but our community can be proud of. So you took over the Princeton job from Jesse Snyder and then fast mm -hmm. forward a few years. Uh, he's back from Stockton now on your coaching staff. What's it mean to have a coach like Jesse with, you know, a coach of his caliber and that experience on your staff along with you? Well, I, I think it's, it's absolutely vital. Uh, you know, I, I firmly believe that a head coach is, is only as good as his staff. And uh, I think we put together a, a phenomenal staff, you know, here at Princeton that, um, you know, we all share the same values and morals and, and we care about our kids. And, uh, you know, to be honest, I've got, I've got three former, you know, head coaches on my staff right now. Uh, Dave Moore, uh, Coach Dave Moore won a, a state championship at Bureau Valley. Uh, coach Tyler Nichols, you know, was the head coach at Kiwani. And then obviously, you know, Coach Snyder was the head coach here and then uh, the head coach at Stockton for a couple of years. So to have, you know, three guys, you know, that, that have, have sat in my seat, um, you know, I think is tremendous. Uh, you know, I think that they do a great job of, uh, of teaching our kids the fundamentals and, and uh, you bring a lot of energy each and every day. And, and, you know, just, I think it just adds to the overall atmosphere of our program. Absolutely. Absolutely. So you're a product of Stark County high school. You're, you're a rebel uh, back, <laughs> back, back in the day. What do you yeah. take? That's a, you know, a very proud program, a great one, a school. Um, what do you take from your playing days with them that translates to you as a head coach now? Well, I'll be honest, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty much a, a product, you know, probably of, you know, my coach, uh, coach Gary Johnson, you know, his hall of fame coach at Stark County for years and years. And, and, uh, you know, he preached, you know, hard work, you know, there wasn't too many programs that, that were going to outwork us. Uh, you know, he preached discipline with our kids, you know, make sure we focused on the little things, uh, because eventually those little things were going to add up to big things and, and make us successful. Um, you know, he preached on perseverance, you know, never giving up, uh, you know, no matter, uh, you know, how many times you get knocked down, you got to make sure that you get back up again each time. And, and, uh, you know, it's a lot of those things are still pillars that, you know, we carry in our program right now. And, and, uh, you know, we actually talk about it quite a bit and, and, you know, the last ones, you know, humility, um, you know, never caring about your individual accolades and, uh, you know, it takes 11 guys that, that truly are, are going to be on the same page and they trust each other because if you can't trust each other, you know, you can't win with each other. So um, a lot of those things, you know, I'm, I'm very, very fortunate to, to have been a part of a program and, and uh, you know, learn from, from such an amazing coach like him. Uh, and it certainly kind of helped pave the way for me, you know, in my coaching career. Yeah, when, you, when you're talking about Gary Johnson, if, if your name's on the field, that, that you play on, I guess yeah. that means you had a pretty good coaching career, huh? Oh, absolutely. A uh, long time, you know, that's, uh, you know, before Star County even became in existence, you know, he was on that field for, for many, many years at Wyoming High School. And, and then we consolidated in 1992. Uh, you know, I know he led the program for, for another 10 to 15 years. I can't remember exactly how many, but, uh, you know, he, uh, he fought a lot of battles, you know, on that field. Yeah. All right. We're going to go a uh, little no huddle here. Talk a little bit more about some intangibles. Mm -hmm. So besides Princeton, what are your three, three favorite venues to play in, in the three rivers when you go on the road, which three do you like? Well, uh, I, I, I really did enjoy uh, going to Newman. Um, I know it's, it's uh, the, the facility is Sterling high schools, but you know, uh, what a great, uh, great venue for, for high school sports. You get to play on the turf and, uh, certainly just a, an absolute beautiful facility. Um, you know, I, I love the atmosphere, you know, anytime, no matter whether it's, you know, in Princeton or, or whether it's in Spring Valley, but, you know, the Princeton Hall battles, you know, are always something that's very, very memorable. And, uh, you know, that second round playoff game that we had at Hall last year was, was definitely something that, uh, you know, I thought was, was very, very memorable. Um, and then probably the third one, um, oh boy, <laughs> uh, I know I'm supposed to be going fast here, but, uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> I'd say, I'd definitely say those were, would probably be my top two, All right. uh, 
and, I, and I'd have to think on the third one. <laughs> All right, that's, that's fair enough. This one's going to be harder, though. Now, you only pick one. The best helmet uniform combination between Princeton, Stark County, and the Canton Little Giants. You only pick one. Well, I'm, 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 I'm pretty biased now, so I'll, of course I'm going to go with, with the Tiger Stripes in Princeton. <laughs> All right. I can't, you can't go wrong there. You can't go wrong there. And you're probably going to keep people happy that way. So. Sure, sure. <laughs> <laughs> if you got one current coach in the NFL, college, or in high school that you could add to your staff full-time, who would it be? Someone that you have around for ideas, for in-game advice, practice. Who you got? Who do you look up to? Oh, I don't have to hesitate on this one. Urban Meyer. Okay. Uh, you know, I'm very, very excited to see what he can do with, with the Jacksonville Jaguars. Uh, read all of his books. You know, any, any type of material out there that, that uh, you know, is from Urban Meyer, uh, I absorb. Uh, I think he's a phenomenal leader. And, uh, you know, I, I certainly try to follow a lot of the things that, that he does with his programs. There you go. Best on-field memory as a Stark County Rebel. Uh, probably it would be our semifinal victory uh, that we had in 97 uh, when we went to Villa Grove and it was a, a nail biter and ended up coming down to a, a field goal attempt for, for Villa Grove. If they make the field goal, they go to the state championship game. And if they miss the field goal, you know, we go. And, and fortunately it worked out in our favor and, and uh, we ended up winning the game 14 to 12. It's got to be. That's yeah, that, that's probably an easy one. That's got to be a great moment. Absolutely. All right. Last one. Last question. If I'm in Princeton, you know, and, and obviously COVID times are a little more normal and I could go out to eat somewhere. Where's the best food? But also I need that atmosphere. I need to know that it's a, t it's a restaurant that loves the Princeton Tigers that you're going to talk football there too, maybe. Well, uh, I tell you what, you want to, you want to go somewhere that, uh, you know, has phenomenal steaks. You know, you go to the prime quarter here in town. Um, any, any time that we've went there, we always run into somebody that wants to talk football. So not only are you going to get your uh, your conversation about the Princeton Tigers, but you're 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 going to go away feeling pretty full, also. So fun story. I grew up in Ottawa, Illinois, and we actually took a road trip out to the Prime Quarter on homecoming night, maybe just for dinner because okay. we had we'd heard so much about you know the steakhouse there. So I've been there sure. once. Been a Absolutely. while, but I've been there. It's it's phenomenal. Well, hey, Coach, thank you so much for taking the time. I really appreciate it. <coughs> good luck this year in, uh, in a shortened season. But like you said, the alternative was, is not good. So, ha you know, have a great year, and uh, we'll be excited to watch you. Awesome. I appreciate you having me on.